Well, hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us for Access City Council. I'm Crystal Allen filling in for Las Vegas Communications Director David Riggleman. Well, coming up on today's show, a group committed to educating kids and creating kidpreneurs. And we'll also explain to you a little bit about what that's all about. Plus, we sit down with the coordinator of an award-winning community center. It's all happening in Ward 4. And joining us to discuss those topics and a whole lot more is Ward 4 Councilman Francis Allen Polanski. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, Crystal, for your inaugural access. <laughs> I Yay. know. Thank you for having me. You guys are christening me in and mm -hmm. getting me acclimated for my first Access City Council show. Of course, this is old hat for you. You do it many times and do it so well. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So Enjoy there's it. so much going on. We really have some interesting topics to get to and some special guests, which we'll get to in just a minute. But if you don't know where Ward 4 is located, here's a map kind of outlining the area to give you an idea of where it is. And for those of you who don't know, that kind of gives you an overview of where it's located. And um, Councilman Allen Polanski, you do a lot of work in your ward. You really make an effort to make sure that people are connected to the resources and the places that they need to be so they know what's happening in their community. So we appreciate you for that. All right, we have two guests joining Councilman Alan Polanski today. So let's get right to it. Our first guest is a local journalist, acclaimed journalist, I should say, and a homeschooling advocate. We are so pleased to welcome Kim McGee to the show. And we also have another special guest joining us. She is a kidpreneur. And if you don't know what that is, we'll break that down for you. She has published five books and oversees a number of very interesting projects with this program. So we are very happy to welcome both of our guests, both of our guests, I should say, our first guest being Kim McGee. Hello. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me today. Absolutely. So you're going to tell us about all the wonderful things you're doing. And we're also very pleased to welcome Angelina Agassi to the show. Good to have so you. Well, we're excited <laughs> to have you. Published five books. Oh my gosh. So much to talk about and we'll get to it in just a minute. But let's go ahead and start with Councilwoman Alan Polanski. And I want you to tell us why it was important for you or why you felt the need to bring um, Kim on the show and talk about what she's doing in the community. <laughs> Kim is a, a wonderful resource for those of us that live in the Northwest. Yeah. And as a mom, I see her doing wonderful things out there for children. So we like to highlight that in Ward 4. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about how your paths kind of connected, how you met. I think we met at a meet and greet. Yes. You came out and said, I have this great organization and I need help finding resources and locations and whatnot. And uh, we sat together and had meeting of the minds. and. She was so yeah. easily accessible too. It was so great to go over and hear also about all the other things that were happening in the community that I didn't know about sure. that I could go then and share. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And that's what she does so well. She connects people to the things that they need in Ward 4. So, you know, Kim, let's talk a little bit about you. <laughs> you are an accomplished <laughs> journalist. Um, for those who might not know, you're responsible for Kids Vegas Zone. Mm -hmm. Right? Vegas Kids Zone. Vegas, pardon me, thank you. Vegas Kids Zone. So let's talk a little bit about the magazine and then also just the other wealth of resources that you provide under the umbrella of Vegas Kids Zone. Yeah, so Vegas Kids Zone um, was basically a reaction to knowing that there were so many great resources and so many families that were struggling to find all these great resources and connect. So I said, let's put them all in one face, place and stop the scroll. And it's all right here. And if you can't find it, we'll make it happen. Yeah. So we um, help parents get together um, to make classes and events and even like dances and the things that really make our community strong and build friendships and um, long lasting bonds between these families and these kids. And you found a lot of support in the community for this, right? That people really yeah. want to get um, involved with this and get access to all these resources and really support each other. Definitely. That's what makes our um, our group members so strong is that they come specifically to connect, to yeah. be active in the community. Which is so important. And I want to talk a little bit about some of the kidpreneur um, events and workshops and all that good stuff that you guys put together. Let's talk a little bit about Oh, that. my gosh. So we started our first family resource fair in 2019, again, in response to parents saying, wow, there are all these great resources. Mm -hmm. We want to know more. We want to meet people in person. Person. And then kids came up and said, hey, can we then too? And I said, sure, you know, come on in. And they said, no, we have a profit and loss sheet. You know, they, they were serious. Yeah. 
was like, oh, you're a business, so <laughs> I'm going to take you seriously. And we put them on the site. We were like, okay, we're going to help you. And then the next fair we had, we had more kids who were inspired by seeing those kids. Like, I can do that. And then wow, we had fire. more and more. And I'm like, now we have 60 kids on our roster. That's and we have started in June um, our own Kidpreneur Market every month. We get a couple hundred people usually uh, on our good markets. And uh, it's really neat to watch these kids grow. Yeah. One of them is now doing DoorDash. Um, we have published author. She's working on her sixth book. Um, it's really neat to watch these kids. They help each other. They help each other with their logos. They help each other with their marketing. They help it's each other like um, get um, confidence to come out from behind the table. So it's been a really, really neat thing. Wow, that is so empowering. It really is. For these young kids at, you know, at, at such a pivotal time in their life where they're acquiring all of these skills and really getting the confidence to be able to do things that many adults aren't even yes. doing, right? Yeah. Yes, and they're building a network to help each other as they grow. And I know that means a lot to you, Councilwoman Alan Polanski, to have, you know, that type of uh, program in your ward that, you know, kids and, and families can be a part of. Kids and seniors, that's what we have in ward for. Yeah. So yeah. we focus on both. And uh, I'm just so impressed by Angelina. She's well, that's a perfect segue. Thank you. So perfect segue. Let's talk to Angelina here. First of all, welcome to the show. We're so excited to have you. You are an example of what Kim was just describing in terms of the kidpreneurs, the leadership, just everything that you can accomplish being a part of uh, this group. So let's talk about what you have done. You're the author of not one, not two, not three, not four, but five books. Yes. Okay, let's talk about it. So each of my books, I have five of them. The first four teach- Let's turn them around so people can see. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. The first four teach how to take care of different pets. Hmm. And Very nice. there are also fictional stories intertwined about children getting the pets. Nice. So that there's something for kids to relate to. Yeah. And then book five brings together all of the kids from the first four. I love that. So what was the motivation behind this? What made you think this is the topic that I want to talk about? Well, I've always loved animals yeah. and I've done a lot of research on them. I would watch YouTube videos. I would read how to yeah. books. And I had a very short attention span. <laughs> so As most of us do these days, right? You're not alone. <laughs> so I got bored reading the educational stuff. Yeah. So I wanted something more fictional. So I put them together so that other kids could have them. That, that is so awesome. And what's so amazing is that people can actually get your books, right? Yes. Let's talk about where they can get them, which is kind of fun and exciting. They can get them on Amazon. And I also go to a lot of local craft fairs and markets, including the Kidpreneur Markets. You guys are segueing from conversation to conversation perfectly. Angelina, thank you for sharing. That's awesome. So you say that you also sell your books at the Kidpreneur Markets, mm -hmm. which is something that we touched on, right, Kim? Mm -hmm. That people can take a part or can yes. take part in and explore. So let's talk about how often you do those once a month, yeah. right? And where those happen. We do them at Paint Drop Studio inside Meadows Mall. It's right inside the entrance off Valley View. Uh, we have a lot, about 20 kids per market and uh, we have new kids every time. And then some of those kids also come to our Kidpreneur Clubs uh, workshops and networking events it's where they can grow their business, learn how to write a business plan, uh, learn how to do a better presentation um, if they're looking to um, advance their 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 level of business. That is so awesome. Okay. And um, Councilman Alan Polensky, now have you ever gone to any of these markets or? I have it on my schedule. I will okay. definitely be there. So, so you I'm have a VIP looking, guest on the way, I'm right? At Angelina's booth. Oh, <laughs> I love that. And I understand you guys have a writing contest as well, right? And you'll be announcing the winners April 6th? Yes. Right? Are you yes. overseeing that? Yes. Okay. You want to talk a little bit about it? Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm going to be one of the judges. Nice. Okay. And I am also overseeing the entries and submissions and everything. Nice. And we will be at Mary Hill Prep mm -hmm. in, Summerlin. To, in Summerlin to announce the winners. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. So, they, I mean, what were they writing about? Could they write about? The Heroes Among Us. Oh, that's an awesome topic and theme. So you're one of the judges. So as a judge, what are you looking for when it comes to the winning? Um, entry. Creativity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Creativity. 
Originality. Originality. Very good. Someone who captures your attention, right? Just like you do in your books. Excellent. Angelina, congratulations on all your success. Thank you. We're looking forward to big things from you. Mm -hmm. We probably need to get your autograph before we leave because it's <laughs> going to be worth something one Sign day. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, um, Kim, as we kind of send it over to you, could you um, let our viewers know maybe how they can get involved with what you're doing because there are just so many resources associated with Vegas Kids Home. Uh, with Vegas Kids Home, we do have a volunteer event every month through okay. our group. Um, we also have our VKC magazine, it's a digital magazine full of uh, deals um, from small businesses, including maid service, VIP kids, you get 20% off at Ooh. play places. Uh, we really go out and research local businesses that are or readers want and see if we can get a discount and also fill their spaces. That's our main goal mm -hmm. is to help small businesses do well. So. I love that. Well, you're yeah. starting early. Yeah. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. And I can just only imagine how, you know, our young people starting them early, they'll just continue to flourish and continue to thrive under, you know, um, that program and it's everything amazing that it's to watch. offering. Yeah. So thank you all so much for what you're doing. I know the councilman appreciates it as well, yeah. right? And we appreciate her. Yeah, and all, yes. and all the support that you're offering because we know obviously it takes a village, does it not? Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> to make sure we put something like this all together. Well, Angelina, thank you so much. to you, Kim. Thank you so much for being with us. The councilwoman is staying with us, but we have to take a quick break right here. But when we come back, we'll introduce you to an award-winning community center coordinator and we'll let you know how you can take advantage of everything that Community Center has to offer. We'll be right back. You want a great ride share experience? Don't ride with us. But if you drive after drinking or consuming cannabis, this is the ride you're going to get. Plan a ride or we'll pick you up. Paid for by the Nevada Departments of Public Safety and Transportation. Well, welcome back to Access City Council. We are once again joined by Ward 4 Councilwoman Frances Allen Polinski. And the councilman brought another special guest today. She is the coordinator for an award-winning community center. We are so pleased to welcome Kristen Carducci to the show. She is the recreation coordinator for the Cimarron Rose Community Center. So great to have you, Kristen. Thank you. Appreciate you. And okay. Councilwoman um, Allen Polanski, we were just saying that uh, it's the only community center in Ward 4. Yes. Gosh, it's so hard to believe. So many kids, yeah. and it's in the heart of Ward 4. She serves so many people yeah. and does it on a dime. It's so impressive. And what did you call them? Strong but mighty. Strong but mighty. Strong but mighty. <laughs> they get the work done. I love that. Well, you know, Kristen, to that point, um, you've been with the city now for 28 years. 28 years. Right. Yes. So you've seen the growth and evolution of that area. Um, how do you continue to to meet the growing needs and all the services, you know, that the community um, requires? We've had, um, we have amazing staff yeah. and uh, people in our community that live in our community. They work in, some of them volunteer in our community with yeah. us. Um, just out there telling the parents and, you know, making it happen. Uh, we, a couple of years ago, we got a little addition, so that gave us a little bit more space. And being creative and seeing what we can do with the area that we have, it seems to happen. So you guys are always um, having a lot of activity, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, we are, uh, we are tiny, yes. um, but we run classes Monday through Friday. Um, we're there from 7.30 in the morning until nine, eight o'clock at night. Yeah, very good. You know, I'm gonna brag on you a little bit. Why Why can't we, right? She's <laughs> one of ours. Exactly, <laughs> we like to brag when people are doing well. So you have received um, awards from the Nevada Parks and Recreation Program for a couple of the initiatives that you guys have over there, right? Yes, yeah. we have. So we've received um, our uh, Polar Express program. We've received an award with that. Nice. We've re received our Halloween event. Um, that we put on in the fall that we have. So those are two of our bigger fall events that we have. We also um, run our summer camp, our teen adventure camp that yeah. we've had in the past, and that too has also won awards. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you guys just keep bringing in the awards. I know yeah. that looks great for our community center, right, Councilwoman? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We like the hardware. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it goes a long way, right? Gives us bragging rights and we love that. But you all have such a wealth of resources and programs there as well. In fact, we were just talking before um, we came back on camera 
that you are um, getting ready to um, bring people in for spring break, right? Yes. Spring break is March 11th. It starts March 11th for the week. Oh. We have a lot of great things that we're going to do with the kids. Nice. And um, we're going to do an egg drop. We're going to have our um, spring pancake breakfast. So for the kids, they really like that. And a lot of it is this a great time of year and the kids can just play. Outdoor. They could run and play. We are adjacent to a park. Yeah. So they really get all the energy and it re-energizes them to get back in the classroom. And you still have slots spring. available. We do have right? slots available. Okay, yes. so people can just contact you to find out more, right? Check yes. online. Check online, Check uh, online through yeah. uh, City of Las Vegas Parks and Recreation. Now, Councilwoman, you have children, so uh, my, my you know the best participated. Oh, and yeah. I live about two miles away, I so personal vouching. So what has it great. been like for Wizzy talked about? You know how much he enjoyed it. Let's talk about it. He that. likes the outdoor activity. Does And the, the, the adjacent park is perfect for them to free play and... I love that. But yeah, so councilwoman approved. Yes, <laughs> Put a stamp on Love that. <laughs> very, very cool. And then also um, your summer program mm, that's yes. coming up, right? Summer camp okay. registration is April fourth mm -hmm. at nine a.m. Um, we take about ninety kids, and this year we're taking twenty six teens. Okay. So we do okay. have a teen camp that we're providing, and they're going to do a lot of hiking and outdoor resources mm -hmm. and get out and learn a lot of good, great things. Taking advantage of the beautiful natural resources yes. that we have, right? And that ward and be able to get out and be active, that's so important, so they're not buried in their the phones, phones, right? No, <laughs> no, no phones, no video games. Yes. We've got some cooking iPads. projects. iPads, we're electronics free, Yes. right? Electronics free zone, okay, I like that. You know, speaking of which is so important to instill the value of reading, mm -hmm. right? In our kids, we have Nevada Reading Week coming up, as a matter yes. of fact, next week. Um, and you all have a really fun event. You know, Dr. Seuss one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. But we're not having Dr. Seuss. We're having donuts. Yes. Right, with Dr. Seuss. Uh, there is donuts and juice with Dr. Seuss. And Dr. Seuss is coming, and he's going to read some stories. So it's super fun. Every week we have uh, different activities that are happening yeah. on Wednesdays, wacky day. So we've got some wacky things happening in the building and changing things around so the kids can you know, come in and be like, wow, this is different That's and so change cool. it up. We have some guest readers coming um, that will be reading in our early education programs. I love that. And speaking yeah. of which, um, Councilman, I know you um, plan to take part, right? I'll be there. Yes, yeah. in that event, you'll be bringing the treats, right? Yes, I've got the juice. So if you have any requests, <laughs> send them her way. <laughs> She'll be bringing the treats. All around. I love that. <laughs> now, my personal favorite is the chocolate donut. Oh. So if you could put that on the list, okay. then that'd be great. <laughs> all right, yeah. and something else fun that we're doing for the kids, um, a kids art show yes. that's coming up, right? April 27th. Okay. Um, so this year is our first art show ever, and we're having the kids submit their art projects in different mediums, be it paint, watercolor, charcoal, um, and they can go online and register through the City of Las Vegas, Nevada Parks and Recreation, and they can register um, and then on Saturday, March 27th, we're inviting everybody to come out and see their great artwork. We, uh, Council and I, will be selecting a few that kind of stand out and displaying them here at City Hall. That's awesome. And um, that's going to be uh, April 27th from 10 a.m. to noon, yes, right, sir. where you actually get to see yeah, all the um, displays. And so now um, this will just be an opportunity. It's not a competition or anything. We're just welcoming the kids to come out and just show us their artistic creativity, yes. right? That's yes. important. Okay. There's so many kids through art um, helps with anxiety. Yeah. So you don't have to be an artist and it's creativity. And we want to show that. We want yeah. to say, come to our, your rec center, show your art. Let's see what you have. You never know what next opportunity you'll have with that. Absolutely. Councilwoman, you will be displaying some of the artwork, right? Absolutely. We haven't decided either. There's a... Uh, a little art gallery outside of Chambers too. So if we can yes. try to get that, I think that's where the artists really belong. But I love there, that. There is high demand for that. So we'll, it'll be somewhere here at City Hall and we'll yeah. have the families out and the kids. So. That'll be awesome. So any um, artistic talent that you have that? No, <laughs> zero. The Leave it to the kids. Stick figures. <laughs> Leave it to the kids. I'm kidding. I love that, but that's so exciting. And like you said, it really helps with a lot of other things as well. Not only self-expression, but maybe relieving some anxiety, you mm -hmm. know, allowing them to kind of have a release and being to do it in a healthy way. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And they, 
We run an art class on Thursdays um, for all ages. Yeah. Uh, we have three classes, like a five and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, um, and they do art. So they're very excited to, they've been taking classes throughout the year to pick some of their favorite things they've done and submit them into the art projects. That's too. so exciting. Yeah. I love that. So this is a great opportunity for the kiddos to showcase their creativity. Um, and I know just, I mean, we just listed all of these events happening at the community center. So again, that just speaks to the fact that their outreach is really impressive, right? Do wonderful things with so little and touch so many lives. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. And you're talking about, I mean, it's just a high need. I mean, you have a lot of kids, you have a lot of seniors. So just continuing to meet that demand, you know, it's impressive that they're able to do that in such a creative and fun way, right? With your it programming. Is. Yes. And 1,800 square feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you do it all in that yeah. space, that is super yeah. impressive. Yeah. So, you know, kind of pivoting from the kids, talk a little bit about what you do for the seniors in terms of, you know, the outreach there. For our seniors, um, we have an art class that we offer on once a month. It's paint and uh, paint and design and yeah. they come in and they can have art with that. We um, offer some of our, we have a couple of our seniors that come and tutor the yeah, kids. Oh, that's awesome. And what a I great combo. That. Yeah, they yes. come in and they tutor the kids for math or reading just to help out for the parents. And Thank you for mentioning yeah. that because I think it's wonderful to have that generational, cross-generational interaction mm -hmm. there, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Where our seniors get a chance to get out because a lot of times, you know, a lot of our seniors, um, they don't have that same level of interaction with other yes. people, mm -hmm. so that's... Do, do you need more? Can we do it? Yeah, <laughs> do, is, this, is this like a pitch <laughs> to our seniors to get them to come out? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, engineering degrees. <laughs> we'll take them all. Yeah. We want you. Yeah. <laughs> that's they the do, they, do they know the new math? <laughs> <laughs> the new math, the right. New math. Like two plus two equals like eight. Like, I'm hoping that it's still four, but then again, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> we have... Um, you know, they help in our classes. They like to come and help set up, yeah. you know, different programs that we're doing, like, like the donuts and juice. They're like, can we come? You I know? love that. They, they really like to be involved and give back to their community. So a lot of volunteer opportunities yes. as well. And I'm sure you're probably always in need of volunteers considering, always. you know, the high demand that you all have for your services there. So. Yes. We, we are very popular in our early education programs. Yeah. Our chess program is very oh, popular. We have okay. chess. I love that. And uh, we have a lot of young people that come in and once a week and play chess. So that is any awesome. chess lovers out there, we could use you. I Help us with all of them. love that. <laughs> Well, keep up the amazing work. We really appreciate you and all that you're doing to keep the community connected. And 28 years yes, with yeah, the city, yeah. so congrats on that. Thank you. And we hope to have many, many more with you, Kristen. I'm so. planning on it. And I love what I do. I love our community. It's butterflies and rainbows every oh, day, so it's great. We need to keep a mini Kristen on our shoulder, butterflies and rainbows. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And this was your first time on Access City Council. It is, we hope yes. it won't be your last. Come back and see us. We'd love to come back. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. So we have a lot more to come. We need to take a quick break right now, but Councilman is still going to stay with us. And when we wrap up, before we wrap up, I should say, we're going to take a look at some upcoming events that you don't want to miss. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Stay with us. This is what stress feels like. And this is what help feels like. If you've lost a job, worry about your next meal, or have trouble making it through the day, we can help. Text STRESS to 211211 to find a solution. All right, as promised, we are back with some upcoming events that you do not want to miss in Ward 4. So let's get to some other events that are happening in Ward 4. March 2nd happening very soon, the Mountain Ridge Little League opening day. Yeah, the Saturday. Oh, my son's a baseballer. I'm going to be there at um, uh, Lone Mountain. Yes. It's me, Mountain Ridge. Mountain Ridge. Uh, a little league. It's really the best day of the year. There's the parade of the kids that oh, come through exciting. and bounce houses. And oh, they make it a whole thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's opening day of baseball. I'll be throwing out the uh, the first pitch over oh, home plate. So amazing. don't boo me. No, I'll make I'll make it over the plate. <laughs> Have I you promise. been practicing? I've been practicing. I've been practicing. <laughs> I think you'll make it happen. I love it. Well, it's always so fun to see the families yeah. and the kids come out. So that's going to be your first time taking part in that, right? It is. The it is. Day. 
today. Yeah. Okay. Exciting. So mark your calendars. Definitely want to check that out. And also, we talked about this. We're heading into Nevada Reading Week, mm -hmm. which is always an exciting time, a time for us to get back to the community and go back and read to our kids and really try to stress the importance of reading. It is. I mean, as a parent, I've done this for many years, and now as an elected official, uh, I have more schools on my plate. But uh, <laughs> it's it, it's a wonderful thing to go in there and bring community to children. Sure. And you're actually going to be reading at Sheila Tar Elementary. Sheila Tar, and I think at our own Strong Start oh, Academy right, as well. Oh, that's right. That's right. I've got a couple on the list. So you'll definitely be making the rounds. Mm -hmm. That's great. Any particular books that are your favorite that you always like to take with you and read? I think kids' favorites, Always Green Eggs and Ham. Of course. Uh, go wrong classic, with that. classic, classic. And uh, I, I brought in, in the past uh, some Korean children's books. Oh. And just for exposure, and I yeah. feel like they, every once in a while I'll get a, I have that, but it's, you know, Japanese, or I have that at home, but it's Chinese, so yeah, yeah we love people. the multicultural. I love that, and our, our kids can really um, see themselves, mm -hmm. right, in the books, and that's Correct. always really important. Correct. Okay, first Tuesday with Summerlin Area Command, that is coming up on March 5th. Yeah, our Metro Police Department always holds um, these first Tuesday events mm -hmm. to communicate with the public, and so that Feedback can happen both ways. They're sure. great events. Ours is going to be held in Sun City this time. I'm hosting along with Metro. We have some city folks that are going to discuss. Um, we have Joey from, from oh, Public, yes, Works. Public Works. She's yes. definitely our local hotshot. She'll talk about Public Works and traffic control and, yeah. and things like that. So uh, it's always very informative. Right. And there's usually some snacks there, too. So. Oh, well, people love to get treats <laughs> <laughs> in the process of right talking they do. about stuff. They so do. Code Enforcement and Public Works will be there. Mm -hmm. That's very good. OK, and this one I'm really excited about the Excellence in Teaching Award that you're doing. I'm so excited. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I'm um, also excited. We are um, asking every principal in every school in Ward 4, and that's uh, public school, charter school, and private school, anyone can participate, uh, to nominate the best teacher in their school. And then we will choose the best teacher in uh, Ward 4 elementary, middle school and high school. It'll Fantastic. come with a thousand dollar cash prize oh, yeah. and gifts. So nice. we are uh, we are bringing, uh, bringing good stuff. Yeah, you're recognizing them and giving them, um, you know, just- Actual remuneration yes. for something yeah. they can take with them and use. We all know great. that teachers spend so much on their own personal resources sure in do. the classroom. So I was really happy that we get this opportunity to- To, to uplift them yeah. and recognize them. And then the deadline is March, 15th yes, but that's not, yes, but that's not for public action. That's okay. for the principals to get to us. So okay, we will highlight right. those uh, those winners too. So uh, yeah. it's going to be fun. It's gonna I be fun. love that. That's that's what I'm most excited about because I good, feel like whenever we have a chance to say thank you to our teachers, yeah. we should. And a good teacher can change the lives of so many children. It can. I bet you can remember. Get, tell me one of your favorite teachers. I bet you can remember. I Lisa. can. I would say Miss Easily in the See, third grade. Everybody has that one teacher that makes an impact. Oh, and Miss right? Green Hall. <laughs> and about before we wrap up, you'll think of someone else. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Definitely that. shout out to Miss Greenhall. Oh, so. <laughs> I love that. Well, always a pleasure to have you, Councilwoman. We'll do it again yes. in six weeks. Yes, and we every will. time you come back, it, it goes around so fast. You're like, has it already been six and weeks? And I'll be asking for Crystal. <laughs> oh, you are too kind. Well, listen, we had a good time today. We did. We'll do it again in six mm -hmm. weeks. Thank you for always bringing such great guests. And thank you for always um, being so involved and easily accessible yeah, to your do. community members. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we always want to hear from you. So if you have something that you would like to share with Councilman Polinsky, you can find her on Facebook, Instagram, X. Look, try all the social media outlets. She is there. You can also contact the Councilwoman at the number that you see there on your screen, or you can send an email as well. She's always eager to hear from you. All right. Don't miss our next show. That's going to start up March 20th. 21st, so mark your calendars, with Ward 6 Councilwoman Nancy Bruni. You can catch all of our KCLV shows on Apple TV, Roku and Amazon Fire. Also, watch for our QR code after the show to subscribe to our newsletter. And don't forget, you can watch us live on the internet or kclv.tv. Thanks as always for watching. We will see you again next time.